Right. All right, thanks, Jackie. I want to bring in Congressman Mike Waltz, uh, the great Republican from the state of uh, the great state of Florida. <laughs> Good morning, yeah. Congressman. Uh, the Democrats morning. are considering expanding migrant camps and deportations. You think that would stop the flow? Look, I, uh, Stu, I think if the word gets out uh, that you are going to have to sit in detention until eventually years down the road, uh, that they actually adjudicate your case versus the current state of things where, you know, you get three meals and a, and a hot cot and then you're sent into the interior of America uh, and with a please come back in a couple of years. Yeah, I do think, uh, and we it's not just what I think, it's what actually happened just a few years ago. Uh, we know once that word gets out, then, then people stop making that dangerous journey. And, and the thing I'll always repeat is 40% of young girls are being sexually assaulted and sold into human trafficking that are making this journey. It is a humanitarian crisis. And now it's also a national security crisis with Biden's own FBI director reading, ringing the alarm bell. And I think bell, and I think that's one of the reasons he's finally coming to the table. Are the Republicans solid on this? Stay together, dem make demands on border security, and wait and just let the Ukraine aid, put that on the side until you get what you want on the border. Are you solid on this? Oh, I think we're rock solid on it, Stu. And, and look, this isn't about doing either or. This is just about priorities. And one of the reasons we're so rock solid is our bosses, the people, our constituents, uh, are giving us this message loud and clear. They don't look at just this country or that country. They're looking at 8% mortgage rates, out of control inflation, gas prices. Oh, by the way, our border is a total and complete mess. Uh, and let's take care of that. Let's take care of America first. Uh, and, and we can talk about helping our allies. Congressman Hunter Biden defied the House subpoena. He opted not to appear behind for, for this uh, closed-door testimony. Do you think Hunter will ever testify? I think he's going to find every which way, uh, but these are pretty clever, uh, every which way to not to, and these are pretty clever excuses and a PR play. I'll just remind, uh, I'll just remind our viewers, Don Jr. sat for hours and hours and hours with Democratic lawmakers, with lawyers, deposition, DOJ, various committees. Uh, you know, this is, this is not unprecedented here, uh, but he's going to, he's going to dodge and weave because at the end of the day, I think it's pretty clear, Stu. Uh, taxes weren't paid. He was acting as a foreign agent, unregistered, uh, for, for not just you know some country like New Zealand. We're talking China, Russia, and other and, and other adversaries. Uh, and and then finally, what policies did his dad change as a result of all of this? Because clearly we had commingled accounts, yeah. commingled funds, and I don't know any government official that needs 20 plus shell companies. Do you think that the Hunter probe and the Biden impeachment? inquiry is enough to get the get the president off the ballot well i think the inquiry is going to give us the standing in court to get the tax records the bank records uh and the information that we need and we'll follow the facts too and uh and, and so far they're pretty damning congressman always a pleasure thanks for joining us congressman waltz we'll All see right. you again this week thank you sir happy holidays merry christmas yes thanks. sir thanks a lot